Hey everybody, it's Brenda. How are you all doing today? I am in a pickle here with quite the mess on my desk. I just got home from taking my hubby to his doctor's appointment, which is over an hour away. So um, I'm all discombobulated, but I wanted to come on real quick and just give you a little bit of a um, video. Uh, while I still have some life left. First at hand though, um, this journal that, um, this was my last journal that I did and did a flip through on. What I did was change the cover. The flip through that I did, the video, has a plain cover except for this. Um, it's the same peekaboo spine with this, but this was all plain. I added just added this to the cover and um, some little trim down here. The flowers are in a little basket and um, I Mod Podged um, all these, the, the butterfly and the flowers. Um, so I wanted to bring this to your attention because I did change the cover from the video, but in my Etsy shop, um, the picture is of this uh, new cover that I, you know, that I added on to. So I wanted to bring that to your attention that the video is different and the Etsy shop has the new um, picture of the journal. Not so you won't be confused, but anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to bring that to your attention. And um, it is for sale at this moment in my Etsy shop. Thank you, that's out of the way. Thank you to the ones that previously uh, bought my last two uh, journals. I so appreciate you guys supporting um, my business and my husband's business, uh, which um, are the um, daubers, <laughs> the daubers that he makes. Thank you so much for all your support. It's so wonderful. You guys are great. Business at hand. I'm going to try to explain this to you. This is what I've been working on, okay? Um, I'm going to try to explain to you what I've got so far. So um, basically, the base is an envelope um, like this. Uh, it has been cut down to size because I wanted this envelope to fit and I'll show you why. Okay, so I got an envelope like this, about this size, and then I just cut down the edge, the edges, but um, this one that I'm using here doesn't have the window, but even if it did, I would be covering the window. So that's where I am now. I, at this time, I have, see, here's the envelope, okay? This is an old, letter uh, from, oh gosh, 1940, I think it says. This I have attached or on the outside. This is my original envelope. This one is attached to the outside like this, okay? So here's the original. And then on the front, I put the front of the other letter and I'm going to make this a pocket, okay? And on the back, I folded it. I folded this envelope so it um, came up on the back a little more than the front because I wanted the front, of course, to have the pocket. And I do have, I will be having a pocket in the back also, but um, I just folded the envelope. See, that's the bottom of the envelope I folded it up a little more to reach up further on this side so this is the old vintage envelope over the top of this uh, recycled envelope okay so on the recycled envelope okay which is totally open I, um, this is the back of the recycled envelope. I put a um, digital 
decoration there. Okay. I did a, a digital on the inside of the recycled envelope and a little tuck spot down here. Okay. And then over here, just take this off. Okay, over here, I thought about putting this down here as a pocket. Now, I might change my mind and get a different sheet of paper, and I might not because, for the simple fact that I am putting... Okay, this is going to... I folded this digital in half to give it some stability. And I was going to put this right here as a pocket. Okay, I haven't glued anything down because I'm still in the, hmm, what do I want to do stage. Okay, so that's what I'm, I've done. I did glue this one down. This one I haven't glued down yet because I'm still thinking. Okay, so this I want to have as a pocket. I know that. And I was going to put a glassine bag for an outside pocket. But then I thought also I want, I don't know if I'll use this envelope yet, but my thought is to put the flap underneath the glassine bag like so and have this as a flip out this way. Okay, so this is going to flip out this way under the glassine bag and then this will be a pocket because I have to glue it down as a pocket and this came with a, a piece of very vintage paper was in there so I just left that in there I do want to decorate this somehow but my thought was to have this underneath the glassine bag so that will hold that there and then what I was going to do was to hide this area right here, the flap of the envelope. I was thinking about putting this here as a tuck spot on the glassine bag. And it also hides that envelope, but I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use this envelope, but I know I want one there. I didn't know if this the colors here went well with this, but I think it goes okay, pretty much. So, um, yeah, that is my plan so far. So this is just the um, state of putting it together and how I want it together. First, I've got some papers here that um, that I just printed out that see the this will go good with that so I might just go ahead and do that and then maybe put a piece of this there I don't know um what I want to do yet like I said <laughs> I'm just in the process of what what do I want to do I may put maybe just a little pocket Maybe just a little pocket down here and have a tuck spot of a pocket. So look how good that goes with that. See what I mean? I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. And I might even just have maybe, let me see what other papers I have here. I had another paper that I really liked that I thought went with, went, went well with this one. Um... Like maybe, where'd it go? I thought I printed it out. Maybe it was this one. Maybe it was this one. Like maybe her up there and this down here maybe. See how um, she goes well with this and then just have this as a tuck spot. <sighs> I don't know. Or maybe just having a piece of letter or something here. 
underneath and then have this as a tuck spot. See my dilemma? I don't know what I want to do yet, but I wanted to know if you guys wanted to, you know, uh, uh, craft along with me. I wanted you, if you wanted to, get your envelopes and get your bases done first. And then, um, like, the next time we meet, we can, maybe I'll have it figured out what I want to do as far as uh, decoration and everything. But I wanted you to get a chance to at least get your recycled envelope and opened up and get, um, you don't have to have a vintage envelope. You could have um, a digital, from a digital, you could have a pretty envelope to go on the, I'm just gluing this little thing down because it's been bugging me. <laughs> and um, also, I'm trying to find something to do here because this is, you know, uh, very, uh, just not very stable so I was trying to find something to do here um I had this here at one point to try to um stabilize that area but then again I might decorate this side anyway with something so that's another iffy spot for me but anyway this is what I have done so far, okay? I've got, um, yeah, this was going to go here to make a pocket. That's the inside of the recycled envelope. And then I was going to put this here on top of it. And I laid this down and put a pocket at the bottom. I glued this down on the back of the recycled envelope. And then this is the vintage envelope that comes up and it will have another pocket. I might cut this down even a little more. Like maybe I might cut that right straight across because the envelope is um, kind of, you know, if I use this one, which I think I probably will, uh, I might just cut it down further. So that's where I am. And then my thought was, of course, to, um, I don't think this address, I don't know, it's from 1940. So I don't know if this address is still, <laughs> you know. Oh, and also um, I wanted something up here. I didn't know maybe if I wanted something like this up there or maybe um, something more colorful but goes with the red stamps there so if I had something like like that would be I think that would be pretty underneath but um you know something that will go with I don't know I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> just, I'm so flustered because I just drove a long way and I get flustered real easy with driving on the interstate. Even something like that would probably go, you know, with the red. So I just need to think a little more, but I wanted you guys to get set up as much as you could. Oh, and I'm sorry. I am using... Um, medieval mirages papers for this um because i'm doing another journal um not that i don't know if this will be included in the journal but that's um the journal that i'm working on that has all the the medieval papers in it so i might be able to um slip that somewhere in in here but it's going to be probably a little thick. So my thought is when it's done and I fill up my pockets and everything, it will probably be just a, uh, just a slip in. 
um, to the book, to the journal. I'll probably just slip it in like under the front cover or the back cover because it's probably going to be um, too thick to add into the um, the journal signatures itself. So I just wanted to come on real quick. I'm, I'm always hurrying because I don't know when my phone is going to give out on me. It's for some reason it's been given out um, just on a whim and I, I don't know why yet but um, I try not to stay on too long because I um, don't know when it's going to pop off on me. So, so I'm like, hurry, hurry, hurry before I, you know, before it goes, but I'm, you know, I apologize for being so quick, but I haven't figured out why yet. So, um, I probably need to call, I don't know, call Apple or call whatever, probably Apple. Anyway, this is where I am, um, so far. So if you guys want to, uh, uh, you know, craft along, you need like a recyclable envelope like this, and then a decorated, decorative envelope, like a vintage one or a digital, um, envelope and something that fits over the original envelope, which is why I cut this down on the sides because this, I wanted to fit over the recyclable envelope. So guys, that is what I am working on right now. I have all this paperwork and Medieval Mirage, if you get any of her uh, digitals, she just has beautiful and um, beautiful digitals and a lot of them. So um, that is where I stand as of now. And then the next time I'm hoping that um, I have what pockets and tucks and everything that I want on here. And I need to find something that's going to um, close my envelope. Also, I thought about maybe one of my little medallions, like so, but I haven't really decided yet. I might just use something that comes in the kit. And this, of course, this is going to be decorated and this will be closed and this will be a pocket. So, oops, we got lots to do if you want to um, craft along. So, um, thank you all for stopping in and seeing what's going on. I love, as you probably know, I love altering envelopes. I love altering file folders. So, um, uh, when I see different, uh, ways to do it, I just jump on and, um, put my own little spin on it and try to, uh, create something, um, that's fun. So, you guys, um, we have a lot to do if you want to follow along. We've got to finish um, figuring out what we want for pockets and everything. And then we have to make things to make to um, put in the pockets and everything. So, um, that's where I stand right now. I hope you guys can craft along and um, we'll have some fun. So, have a lovely day. And I'm going to go before my camera pops off and... Um, get your uh, self together if you want to craft along. Have a safe, blessed uh, weekend is coming up. And um, I will see you next time. Uh, a little more organized, I hope. Thank you all for everything and for supporting our business. Bye-bye. <laughs>